part of sentences. A sentence is made up of different parts. It can be divided into three parts. The first part is the subject. The subject is the naming part of the sentence. It tells us who or what the sentence is about. So you have to ask yourself the question, who is the sentence about? In the sentence, James eats chocolate cake. We have to say, who eats chocolate cake? James. So the sentence is about James. Our subject in the sentence is James. Secondly, we have the verb. Remember that a verb is a doing word. It is something that you can do or an action that you can perform. It tells us what the subject is doing. So ask yourself the question, what is the subject doing? James eats chocolate cake. What is James doing? James eats. So the verb in the sentence is eats. Next, we have the object. The object tells me more about the verb. For example, what is James eating? James eats chocolate cake. So the object in this sentence is chocolate cake. It is important to see that the object can be more than just one word. Here is a tip to make it a bit easier. In the sentence, James eats chocolate cake. The first thing that you need to do is identify the verb. The verb is eats. Now we move to the subject. Everything in front of the verb is the subject. In this sentence, our subject is James because James is written in front of the verb. Everything after the verb is the object. In this sentence, it is chocolate cake. Let's look at the sentence. Mr. Harding teaches history. Step one, identify the verb. Our verb is the doing word. And in this sentence, it is teaches. Step two is to identify your subject. Remember I said that everything in front of the verb is our subject. And who is the sentence about? It's about Mr. Harding. So our subject is Mr. Harding. Next, we identify our object. Everything after our verb is our object. What does he teach? He teaches history. So our object is history. Look carefully. Everything in front of teachers is the subject and everything after teachers is the object. And remember that the object can be more than one word. During a test or assessment, I will ask parts of sentences in a table format, like this. Pause the video for a bit and see if you can fill in the correct answers. How did you do? Let's see. The first sentence, the dog fetches its bone. We've got the subject is the dog. Our verb is fetches and the object is its bone. The next sentence, Peter feeds his dog. Subject is Peter, verb is feeds and object is his dog. In the next sentence, Leah and Joseph eat dinner. Our subject is Leah and Joseph because the sentence is about both of them. Our verb is eat and our object is dinner. Here are four sentences that you can try on your own. You can write it in your homework book or on a separate piece of paper. Please pause the video to see if you can complete this. Here are the answers. I will use red for the subject, 
black for the verb and green for the object in each sentence. Please mark your work to see how you've done. Grade fours, I hope you're still keeping safe. Thank you for all your hard work and for really trying to keep up with all the work that we sent home. We really miss you. Stay safe and I hope to see you soon.